Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Homebrewing with April. Uh, this time we're in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and I'm on the way to go in and meet up with the June. So come with me. Hi. So we're inside. Let's brew some coffee, no? What are we <laughs> what are we doing here, first of all? So for today we are going to brew some coffee. It's from Colombia. Okay. So I like this coffee is because it's a triple anaerobic wash. Triple it, anaerobic wash. What yes. does that mean? It tastes super clean. Okay. Even if anaerobic process, uh -huh. and it's super sweet. Super sweet and yes. clean, even though it's anaerobic process. process. Awesome. So we should have a closer look at this. So Colombian coffee triple El Tru Triunfo as a pink bourbon. Yes, okay, cool. Right. Awesome. Marigold, white peach, green grapes. Pomegranate, red berries. Okay, so like super complex. Yes, quite complex sweet, quite and intense. clean. And clean. Yes. Clean is important. Clean is important. We like, like clean, clean coffees. Yes. Yeah, me too. I think that makes it a lot more, a lot more interesting, right? Awesome. And then Sherry selection. So the roastery's name is. Uh, is from Sherry Team. It's from Sherry Team. Yeah. Okay, cool. Which is. Mm, this batch yeah. is from Thailand. Ah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Ah, yeah, so it's that from cherry. The summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah summer super cool. Coffee awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And we're using, you're using the ceramic April Brewer. Yes, correct. Yes. How come you're using the ceramic? Because mm, we have plastic, we have glass. No, this is the first. That is the first one. Yes. That this is, is the true. First one. Okay, so mm. you got like the first one. Yes. Yeah, super cool. Awesome. And I found the ceramic can hold a lot of aroma compared to a plastic one. Okay, so, I so personally, you I prefer for the ceramic ones. Yeah, you feel the gel a little bit more, yes, just correct. aromatic and complex yes, coffees. Okay, yes. that's super cool. So different materials have a big impact on extraction and taste in general, right? Yes, so it makes really sense that there's a difference. Yeah, I like it because it usually creates, I think, a bit of a better balance and right. kind of body to the coffee as well. All right, and maybe make it a bit more aromatic as well. Yes, and more bright acidity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. So we are going to use some water Mineral from Jaya Grocer. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So let's start. So have you have you like tried with different style of waters or mm. is this always what you're using? Yes, for yeah. today, yes. Oh. Because I just want to be simple. Yeah, sure. Not so complicated. Fair point. And we see a lot of people using like different bottle waters at home. I think it yes. makes sense. It's like a cheap way to get water. It's consistent. Uh, and sometimes it's really tasty. So yeah, yeah, grosser, this one. Okay, awesome. So I would use a 95 degree. 95 degree Celsius? Yes. Okay, and why, why are we using 95? Just a very easy Very easy? Yeah. Yes. What do you feel is the biggest difference in different temperatures? This one can expect more sweetness, yeah, which okay. is I like in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So you would would you say that a higher water temperature makes a sweeter cup yes, of coffee? Correct. Yeah. Cool. So I will use a lower dose. Yeah. Like fourteen gram. To how much uh, water? Two hundred twenty. Two hundred. So okay, fourteen grams of coffee, two hundred ten twenty grams of water. Cool. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about the like scale and kind of setup you have? Because we haven't seen that in our videos so far. Okay, so this is the scale that I just bought this year. Ah, okay, they cool. They just launched a new version. It's called Ultra Koki. Okay. So it's a dual scale that can measure your yield. The ah, input so it measures the actual beverage yes, weight. Correct. Yeah, which I think is super important because one of the things I see a lot in now Southeast Asia when I've been traveling yeah. is that a lot of people when they brew coffee and let's see what let's see what you do and there's no right or wrongs but a lot of people do this thing where they lift the filter right. off before the water has gone through yes which I don't understand I don't necessarily support that but people do it but if you want to do it you need to measure the beverage weight all right because otherwise you'd be inconsistent yes so it's good to have a scale that can actually measure the beverage weight and not just the liquid that goes uh, on top of the coffee, right? And, and the grinder we've seen before. This is a... Uh, one espresso. Yes, I don't even correct. know how to pronounce that. I have no clue. I call you one Z. Yeah, it's a difficult name, yes. I think. But it's a great grinder. Yes. Yeah. 
Is that I the P six? What was the name of the model? Like the this the one the for second pores? Second generation. Second generation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They stop produce after I purchase. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, because now they have the the new one. Yes, six? something six. Yeah, yeah. I think we so, did a YouTube video about that. So one of the best of this skill is mm -hmm. can adjust the height. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you can get other stuff for the uh, cup, underneath. Yes. Oh, cool. So this one is the latest version. Yeah. So I will grind around 2.7. Okay. It's 2 7. A bit quite fine. Yes. Would that be something? Okay. Yes. Yeah. A little fine. Awesome. Go for it. And I found it is very easy to for for a girl to grind the coffee. To grind, okay. Yes. Yeah. So which is which is important, right? Yes. Yeah. It's I, very important. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I often ask like why. You know the whole hand grinder versus electrical grinder. I yeah. kind of use I use electrical grinders because I think they're more consistent uh, and they're easier to use. Like a hand grinder is always a lot of work, right? But I can see you have like you have a commandante standing also. Yes. So one of this these. This is the commandante. Do you I, use that also, or do you always I use, use this, this also? Do you do you like the, different, different depending on coffee? Yes. Different ah, okay. coffee, I will use a different grinder. Ah. Yes. And what's this. what's the main like what's the main argument for that? Depends my mood. Depends okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean it's always fun to have different stuff, right? So, ah, you have this yeah, one. Yeah, I changed already. Ah. So this one is a new version. Yeah. From Lily Drip. It's called L7. So that makes it easier to Easy. grind? Yes. And okay, so some kind of Lily drip tool thing that makes it easier to grind. Okay, because it's bigger or bigger and longer. Bigger and longer. Okay, so, so you have like you a better motion yeah. at the beginning, like a normal grinder. You will use a lot of effort to grind, uh, but for this one, at the end, you're still using the same strength. Super, awesome. Yeah. Yes. So I found it's quite balanced. It's quite balanced. That yes. could be worth looking into then, like all of you that have come down. Can you put this on other grinders as well, Cannot. or is it just not? <laughs> so this is like for coming down to buy someone else, uh, Lily Drip. So check it out. So here's a coffee. Cool. Okay, so we're grinding quite fine. Are we grinding fine because, let's say, a lot of anaerobic coffees has kind of a fast flow rate. The water goes through fast. Right. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So other coffees you might grind a little bit coarser, maybe. All right, and I was using the apple filter paper. Good choice. Because I found it's very different compared to the normal Kalita paper. It is very different. Yes, very yeah. different. Mm. Yes. I'm trying to tell that to everyone. <laughs> uh, it's more bright for the acidity. Yes. And it's more balanced. Cool. Mm. So the apple paper filter makes it more balanced and brighter. Yes, yeah. correct. Cool. So, I agree with that. Cool, so we have that. Rinse my paper first. Go for it. And then that's at the 95 also. I'm a lazy person, so I just <laughs> do it in this way. So you just do it and think, yeah. Are you, are you concerned about the, the temperature of the water you're rinsing with? No. Is that important for you? No, okay. No. Yeah. Because today I'm using the ceramic. Uh, that's why I'm using the normal water to rinse my paper filter. Because uh, yeah, yeah. you don't feel you need to like heat it up. Yes, okay. all right. So I will get a server. Mm -hmm. Server. Cool. And there's a Lily Drip server. So it's like a theme. You have a lot of Lily Drip stuff. Yes. Yeah. And this is the latest one. It's called Aroma Server. Okay. So when you stir the coffee, this hole yeah. help you to slow down your flow. So the aroma is more stronger. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, look at that. So, I mean, we do details on this as well, right? But okay, so basically, is it that the liquid goes up on the hole then? Uh, I've never seen slower. that. Yeah. Yes, when you stir the coffee. Ah, okay. Interesting. I've never seen that yes. before. Could be worth checking out if you guys are like, we've seen a lot of different servers. Also, the April server now has, I mean, let's say, an, um, aromatic aspect to it as in like we designed it to try to bring out more aromatics but i've never seen anything done like on the side which is kind of cool i just bought this year so <laughs> awesome you buy a lot of new stuff yes so cool so again 14, 14 grams of coffee so how are we going to pour the water how long 
Yeah, and like how many times? One time, two times? Three times. Ten times. Two for times. one minute plus. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Go I for will it. start with the ninety-five degree. Mm-hmm. Rooming for fifty gram. Yep. Just to open up the acidity to be more brighter. Okay. Do you find that pouring a different amount of water makes a big difference? Like, yes. let's say you pour 20 grams or 80 grams? Yes. Okay. And the second pour will be go to 150. Okay. To give more body and sweetness. Yeah. And then 20. So you pour quite fast. Yes, I yeah. pour quite fast yeah. because I'm using a super fine dry size. Yeah. And I just use a room temperature for the last pour. Wait, so now, now you're pouring in room temperature water? Yes. Oh, uh, cool. Because I'm I using have never the... seen that in the history of my, <laughs> my coffee career, actually. That's super cool. Because I found this way is more easy for us as a home brewer. Ah. Yes. And what do you think is the like biggest difference with this? Like what does this do? Okay, because today we are using the ceramic dripper, ah. so it will getting more hotter yeah, at sure. the end. So I'm using the room temperature to cool down the dripper. Uh-huh. So my coffee will taste more balanced uh-huh. compared to the get And then you lift it up at 120. Yes, correct. Okay, 120. And then you have... My U is... 150. 50. Ah. 150. Ah, okay. So when you say one, 150, you're, you're not so focused on this. You're a lot more focused on the beverage weight. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. That's yep. super cool, actually. So you, you are basically just pouring based on... The U. Based on this. You don't really think about the other one. Yes, correct. Huh. Super the other one will be the 220 for yeah. the output. No, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So as you can awesome. see, when we stir the coffee, yeah, my coffee is so slower compared to the ah. other server. Yes, you okay. can And you, you find that makes it makes a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's big difference. Cool. So let's drink. It. I'm still amazed over the fact that you poured room temperature water in your brew. I have never in my life seen that. So even more easy. Yeah, it's easier, because okay. Because I only got one kettle. Yeah. That's the reason I use this also. Ah, okay. So normally, maybe <laughs> if you had two kettles, you would have like a lower temperature. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it will be more easy, more consistent. Okay, so that's something you guys can try at home, right? So like last pour, very different temperature water. Yes. Really. But is, is it the same water? Same water. Yeah. Mm. And this jar, you can just... Purchase in Daiso. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Cool. It's five ringgit for this Super job. Cool. You have a yeah. lot of new stuff I've never seen. Okay, and so, cups. I can see you have, like, these cups are familiar, right? I think a lot of people have seen these cups. Yes, you can try. Two if cups. you ever watch a World Brewers Cup, you definitely seen these cups because that's what everyone is using. Uh, but you also have these. Is that also a cup? Yes. That's awesome. So, maybe we can try. What's your, like, favorite cup? This one. This one. And Correct. why is this the different thickness lip thing? No, same. Uh, slightly thicker compared slightly thicker, to the yeah. origami. But is it is it is it the same thickness here? Yes. Because I saw in Singapore a cup with like thick hair and thin. Same. 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 Mm, okay. So, you have definitely have a color theme. Everything is pink, <laughs> kind of with the cups. Because I like sweet. Because you like sweet. Okay. Yes, All right. So the the idea when it comes to um when it comes to pink or any kind of color really is that if you have something pink or red and your coffee is already sweet then this will basically help you perceive more sweetness like that's the theory right so color kind of matters cool so I can try with this you go that's awesome and this also have this little aroma All right. thing yeah so this cup basically has an elevation in the center of the cup that is also just to like help you to yeah. enhance the aroma experience okay and we were looking for marigolds white peach green grapes pomegranate and red berries 
What do you think? Do you feel we're we're getting this? Yes. Yeah. It's more to white powder. Pomegranate, yes. Red red skin. Mm. Very sweet. Definitely. But still clean, as you say, which yes. is kind of interesting. You don't have these kind of funky natural notes in it. You do have like a, it's a very clean, kind of well balanced cup. Yes. Quite intense for because you brewed very quick. Mm. Right? But still has quite a lot of flavors, I would say, right? Correct. Super cool. What do you think the main difference is? Let's say, let's say you didn't add this, like you didn't pour the room temperature and you just pour like the 95. What would you think would what would change in the cup? Uh even more bitter at the end. More bitter in the end. Yes, okay. correct. So pouring on like a lower temperature uh, in the end of the brew will make it cleaner. Cleaner and a okay. smooth ending. Cleaner compared, and smooth, like yes. a smoother finish. Yeah, yes. super. Compared to the high temperature. That's really cool, actually. So it tastes like a natural coffee, but mm. it's a wash coffee. But yeah, but it's still it's still like very very clean. Yes. Definitely had this like white grapeiness to it, which is cool as well. Huh, super interesting. So like basically, then we learned quite a few new things here, right? So first of all, one, um, when you brew coffee, it's really interesting to look at the actual beverage weight. And beverage weight then is the liquid in the server when you're brewing, not just the liquid that goes on top of the coffee, right? Um, secondly, grinding fine could work really well. You're actually grinding very fine, right? Yeah. But it's still tasting kind of very clean and well balanced. But we're grinding finer because of the processing of the coffee. And also I'm using low dose. Using a lower dose. Yes. Yeah. That's why I go finer. That's why I go finer. Yes, yeah, sure. Correct. So if you were using like 16 grams of coffee, you would go coarse. Right. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. And um, pour really quick, pretty much. Quick brew time as well. And I'm quite surprised over the amount of flavors you have in the cup, even though you had such a short contact time. That's actually super cool. Um, and then the room temperature thing, right? So that's, again, never done that in my coffee career. That's kind of a cool thing to see. I'll definitely try to do that for sure. Yeah. I think that's like a really Can smart way to do it. After you try. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So then basically like, you fill up the filter, make sure you have water. And then that's the last kind of uh, volume you just add that kind of lower temperature and that's actually super cool to see how that works yeah you just add room temperature yeah so <clears throat> super cool yeah for the last pour yeah yes that's really interesting actually so try that at home uh for Very sure easy. yeah mm -hmm. it is easy but it's also tasty right which is important right so obviously we're going to make sure to to link to the different gears that we we saw in this video as well and um Thank you for having Thank us in the you. first place. Super cool. I think this is this is kind of the whole reason why I started to do this in the first place. Just go out and see how people do things. Uh, and today we have at least done two things that I've never done in my own coffee career, right? Uh, yeah. Which is quite like, you think you've kind of seen all of it, but then you haven't, which is really interesting. Um, so as usual, we want to thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure that you subscribe. We have both, again, YouTube. It helps a lot. Comment below. Make sure you like it as well. Share it with your friends. As per usual, when I travel, I always let the people on Patreon, the supporters there, know the first. So make sure you sign up there as well to kind of get the latest news to follow this project and all the other projects we do here at April. Um, so with that, we just want to thank you again, first of all, for having us. Thank it's really you. nice. We really appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.